Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. So I want to talk about some other aspects of the game. And recently some players have complained that the tutorial that we currently have in the game isn't that great. Or that there's just not enough tuition type videos out there. In fairness, neither of those statements is strictly correct. The tutorial, that part of the game that new players get to experience, does exactly what it's meant to achieve. It basically gives some insights into how to play the game, if you are a new player. Admittedly, if you're a re-roll, then the tutorial is quite useless, merely an inconvenience that you need to get past. The thing is, the tutorial isn't designed for anything other than guiding brand new players. Those players who've never ever actually played the game. And in that respect, the tutorial does quite a good job. If I have any issues at all with the tutorial, then it's based upon the fact that the tanks used are generally found at tier 6. I mean, we're talking about the Sherman, the Tiger 1, and the T-34. And it encourages players, new players I think, to get out of the low tiers quickly in order to get into those type of tanks. As for there being a lack of tutorials found in external sources, well, that's just not true. There are literally hundreds out there, mostly on YouTube. Even Wargaming themselves are doing tutorial videos on its YouTube channel. The thing is, not all the player base is ultra serious about the game. I would argue that a vast majority of the player base is not interested in win rate or damage or whether they're going to be a super duper unicum or such. They play because it's a game and it fills a gap. With that in mind, not everyone who plays the game will spend the time, the energy and the effort scrolling through the internet or watching YouTube videos. And if the truth be known, no one can force them to do so, nor should they. The player base is diverse. And I'm not talking about racially or ethnically or culturally. It's diverse insofar as there are wide ranging types of players. Those who are ultra serious, who want to be pros, to those who drop in every now and then because they like shooting at other tanks and they have some fun whilst doing that. This is where the disconnect then tends to arise. Because those players who do take this game seriously, and there are a great many of us who do, get frustrated with those who have a different, more liberal mindset to the game than ourselves. We sometimes forget that public random battles are exactly that, open to all, regardless of skill level, win rate or experience. Of course, it's annoying when you're dropped into a team of new players or players who have a more liberal attitude to the game especially when you're facing a team of skilled and very experienced players. But hey, that's random public battles for you. That's not to say you'll have more fun in ratings. <laughs> the system designed, apparently, to give a more skill-based MM and therefore attract the more serious type of player. Because trust me, you won't. Ratings is clearly broken and not even close to doing what it was meant to do. And... Until you manage to get yourself past the 4,500 rating points mark, you're not really going to see much of a difference between random public matches and ratings. In fact, I would argue, in most cases, it's actually worse in ratings, because your stats are not affected by your overall performance. And as such, you will find players grinding tanks or playing tanks that you weren't overly, that they're not overly good in, safe in the knowledge that the win rates, etc. won't be damaged. The only thing that's going to be damaged is your rating points. And let's be honest here, if you're not fussed about certain camos, avatars, or you're not skilled enough to get your paws on that fearless, that ain't really going to upset you too much. There's no magic formula available either, be that to wargaming or be that to the player base in real terms, to address this issue. Fact of the matter is, the game needs new players in order to make it work. It's that simple. Alienating new players is just not an option, because the game needs that fresh blood, and Wargaming also needs new recruits, not just to come into the game for a couple of battles, but to actually stay in the game. Maybe the only viable solution is to revisit ratings, and to look at ways to fix it. 
But the main problem with ratings is the fact that the vast majority of the player base doesn't play it. And with the lack of players, the system just won't work effectively. And it's not like Wargaming can just press the reset button on ratings either, because there are those trying hard to grab that fearless, and they will undoubtedly feel hard done by having the format changed after they have put in so much time and effort. Wargaming themselves could throw more training or tutorial videos at the new players, but again, you cannot force people to go and watch, especially if that's not why they've come to play the game in the first place. And no one, as I said, should be forced into a position whereby they are forced to watch. Maybe Wargaming could make it harder for the newer players to get their paws on those top tiers. But again, such acts may alienate those players to the extent that they play a couple of battles in a tank that only those interested in history or stuff are familiar with, only to say the game is dull and boring and they leave to play, say, Candy Crush. Personally, I think Wargaming have done a grand job in catering for new players, but they really do need to be more open to catering to the loyal veteran base. Because hey, they're in danger of alienating them also. Many have mentioned that you could use the campaigns or stuff that you find on World of Tanks PC, and maybe Wargaming should give some thought to how they could satisfy those veteran players. Because hey, getting a birthday avatar isn't really going to do it anymore. As I said, there is no magic formula just sat on a shelf waiting to be picked up. Yes, I get the frustrations, I myself feel the pain, but we must remember this is, after all, a game, and as a game it therefore needs to cater and appeal to all types of players. As for the tutorials and such, well, the current tutorial is a vast improvement over the last one. And I think it does exactly what it's required to do. And the external resources are clearly there and in huge abundance. And anyone can go and make use of those resources. Thing is, it really is up to the individual as they, they wish to use those resources or not. After all, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and like and everything below. Tell me your thoughts on this. Let's have a look at, you know, where is the game going wrong? And can Wargaming or anybody else do anything about it? Let me know your views. And until the next time, guys, remember it is a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.